Hey guys, today we'll be talking about the basics of the Sapling 3 Gen add-on in Blender or Sapling 3 Generator add-on. I'm using the 3.0 version of Blender. Let's start by deleting the default cube if it's still there. Now modeling a tree from scratch is rather tedious, especially the leaves. Fortunately, we don't have to do it. Instead, we'll use a Blender add-on. So first, we need to enable the add-on. To do that, go to the Edit menu, Preferences, then in the Blender Preferences window that opens, just select Add-ons and type Tree to find all the add-ons with names containing the word Tree. If you don't have any other add-on installed, You'll probably see just the one add-on in the list, the Add Curve Sapling Tree Jam add-on. Check the box to enable the add-on and close the window. The 3D cursor is now at the word Origin, so this is where the tree will be created. As the first part of the name of the add-on suggests, the tree is going to be a curve, not a mesh. This is why in order to add a tree, you have to hit Shift A, Curve, Sapling Tree Gen. Let's zoom in a bit. Now the tree is added. You will also see the panel on the left over here that is related to the tree. We have to expand it, so let's click over here in order to see the whole bit. So now we have a basic tree. It has no leaves though. We're gonna fix this in a minute. Now we can tweak all the different parameters as much as you want. Let's have a look at some geometry settings first. So here we are at geometry. This is what your tree looks like if you uncheck bevel. Fine, let's check it again. You can play with the scale and scale variation. Let's set scale to 10, for example. Scale variation. Okay, let's set it back to 5. Good. Go ahead and try out some other parameters. Now, here we're talking just about the geometry settings but there are many other settings available in the drop-down, like branch radius, pruning, armature, leaves, etc. You can also load one of the existing presets. Just click on the load preset drop-down over here and select one of the presets. Let's select, for example, small pine. And now we have a small pine. Now we still don't have any leaves on the tree. In order to add some, Let's click here in Settings and select Leaves. Now check the Show Leaves checkbox and you will see some basic leaves. Let's zoom in a bit to see better. As you can see, the number of leaves is 500. You can change the number, like for example 400. We also want to make the leaves a bit longer. So let's set leaf scale to 0.4 instead of 0.2. They are now longer. But if you zoom in even more, you will see that the leaves are rectangular. It's not a problem if you're not going to see the trees from so close. But anyway, let's change leaf shape to hexagonal. So leaf shape hexagonal. Now they look more like needles. For me, it looks fine. If you want, you can play with all the different settings to see how they affect the tree. So let's say we're done with the tree. Now it's a curve. If we want to, we may convert it to mesh. To do so, let's select the tree. Let's go to object and select Convert Mesh. Now the tree 
it's a mesh, not a curve anymore. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.